And now here is another example. This is example three. So the maximum address is still 255 starting from zero. We have a total of 256 addresses, unique addresses. But the storage capacity of each location is now 16 bits. Therefore, the total memory size will be 256 times 16 bits, which is equal to 2 bytes here. Therefore, total memory, 512 bytes. However, this, this is only a half of the picture, because actually, in the computer, this memory address is not in a binary system. It's not a binary system. It is actually in a binary system. So this is the actual picture. The memory address, they are all in binary numbers. So 0 is replaced by 8 zeros, and 255 is replaced by 8 ones. So you should still remember how to convert a binary number to a binary number. And therefore you can see we need a total of 8 bits here. So the memory address is an 8-bit memory address because 2 to the power 8 equals to 256, which is exactly the total number of unique address in the main memory. And so the point is, since memory addresses have to be in binary, therefore, if we have 256 address, we will need 8 bits. And if we go back to the computer with a memory address, of 16 addresses. Therefore, we will need only 4 bits in the memory address. Since 15, when converted to binary, we have 1, 1, 1, 1. Therefore, 16 addresses will only require 4 bits. And actually, we have a formula. Let's say we have a n bit memory address. Therefore, the total number of memory address, total number of addresses will be equal to 2 to the power n. 